Hi everyone, welcome back to Move Your 30 Day Yoga Journey. Today is day 12. Focus. All right, let's begin today on our bellies. Come on down to all fours, gently melt, melt to your belly. You're gonna just place one hand on top of the other. Please, thank you so much for allowing the sound of my voice to guide you. Just please use the sound of my voice here so you don't have to look at the screen. You're just gonna come onto your belly. Oh, I know it takes a lot getting down here sometimes and then rock, uh, excuse me, not rock. Place your head on your hands and then gently rock the hips a little side to side just to create a little length. Should feel good. This is small movement. If you just ate a pasta dinner, <laughs> I sincerely apologize. You might uh, modify. All right, and then after you've rocked the hips a little side to side, you come to stillness, relax your shoulders. Feel your belly on the earth. Yes, there's some compression there, and we're going to accentuate that as we breathe in. So close your eyes and inhale in deeply, and just see if you can feel your belly press against the earth. And then exhale, of course, it retreats, and we soften. Keep it going. Inhale, belly expands. You can feel it press against the earth. And on the exhale, it softens. I'll keep this going just a couple more times. I'm not gonna be here long. But I love this crocodile breath for going a little bit deeper and really focusing on this directional breath. The inhale traveling down and the exhale traveling up. So keep that focus if you can throughout the day, throughout the practice. Throughout life. Okay, let's do one more crocodile breath here. And then exhale, slowly release. We're gonna come up onto the elbows here. Just take a second to look left to right. Oh my gosh, I'm turning to my right. Boom, sweet Benji's there. So you might be taking in your surroundings too. We often think, oh, I can't focus because this is going on, this noise, there's so much going on in my house. So this practice is really one to remind us that yoga is a discipline, okay? Um, sometimes we find the joy in movement. Sometimes it is about focusing or refocusing on what matters most. So just taking in your surroundings here and then bringing the chin down to the chest. Lovely, and then bring the head up, bring that right elbow to the center of your mat. You're gonna reach behind and uh, just bend your left knee to start, and you might reach behind and grab the left toes for a stretch. If you can't reach there, do not worry. Focus on the breath and just bending the knee. Maybe sending the left fingertips towards the back corner of your mat. And then release, and take it to the other side. Don't push it. Just notice where you are. Be honest about it. And then release, okay. Here we go. We're gonna come up to all fours, nice and slow. Cat cow. This time starting with cat, so drop the chin to the chest, lift the navel, and then reverse, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out, really focusing on the sound of your breath here, the sensation of the body. Pay attention to what you are focusing on, right? I've said it before, but where attention goes, energy flows. Where attention goes, energy flows. And trust me, that can Be beautiful, but it can, can also have consequences, so the awareness is key. Okay, bring it back to a nice neutral spine. Walk the knees in towards the center of the mat. Curl the toes under. Sit back on the heels. Just lift up from the pelvic floor. Lift up from the crown. 
Press into your pinky toes. Think about pressing your pinky toes down to the ground, just opening up through the feet here. Getting ready for some balancing today. Have no fear. Then back to all fours, walk the knees as wide as your yoga mat, uncurl the toes, right hand comes to the center line, left fingertips open all the way up towards the sky. Nice open chest. Inhale in here. Exhale, thread the needle. Left fingertips go in and underneath the bridge of the right arm. Right fingertips reach forward. Or you can send the right fingertips up towards the sky or right hand to the small of the back. Last option, take a little bind by bringing the right fingertips to the front of the left hip crease. So we have lots of options here. Play, focus on the sensation. And then slowly unravel. Come back to center, left hand in the middle, right hand across the chest as you inhale, reach up towards the sky. Good, lengthen through the neck, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Left fingertips reach forward or up or behind the back. Breathe, opening up through the neck, the shoulders, getting that beautiful twist in the spine, that rotation in the mid back and the thoracic spine. And when you're ready, slowly unravel. Spread the fingertips super wide. Walk the knees in underneath the hips. Scroll the toes under and send the hips up high and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, knee to nose. Inhale, focus on the breath, lift up. Exhale, shift it forward, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Now listen carefully. Draw the right knee to the right elbow, then to the left elbow. Right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow. Last one, right elbow, left elbow, then step it all the way up. Beautiful. Pivot on the back foot. Send the fingertips forward. Front knee stays bent. Warrior one. Reach up high. Strong like a warrior here. Strong legs. Focus forward. Lift your chin. Draw your navel in and up. Lengthen through the neck. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, warrior two. Send your gaze straight past your right fingertips. Look beyond. Good, keep the front knee bent. Peaceful warrior, reach fingertips up and back. Right fingertips reaching all the way back here. Inhale in. Exhale, right elbow to the top of the right thigh. We open up through the chest. Once again, left fingertips up towards the sky. Extended side angle. Neck is nice and long here. Inhale in. Exhale, option to bring the right fingertips down towards the earth or keep it nice and lifted. So you can play here a little bit. Good, inhale in. Exhale, left fingertips come all the way down. We frame the right foot again, come into our nice low lunge. Inhale to look forward. Send your focus forward. Exhale to step it back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Empty it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Claw through the fingertips. Exhale, shift it forward, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Engage the muscles of the front body, the core. Exhale, shift it forward. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, shift it forward, squeeze. Now left knee to left elbow, then right elbow. Left, right, left. Lift your left heel, right, left. Right, last one, left, right. Good, step it all the way up. Pivot on the back foot, we rise up strong, warrior one. Send your focus out, stay disciplined, stay in the moment, you got this. Press into the back foot. Good, inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, warrior two, nice wide stance. Head over heart, heart over pelvis, send your focus forward. Good, deep bend in that front knee as you inhale. Send the left fingertips up high and back. Neck nice and long, peaceful warrior. Inhale in, tuck the chin. Exhale, send it forward, extended side angle. Left elbow on the top of the left thigh to start. Right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Back toes are turned in. Good, stay here, breathing, hugging those low ribs in, feeling the low belly, the muscles of the low belly turn on, or maybe extend the left fingertips to the earth. 
Breathe in. Nice and long in the neck, tuck the chin, breathe out. Good, then right fingertips come down. We frame the left foot, come back to our lunge. Good, inhale, open up through the chest. And exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Amazing, beautiful. Inhale, lots of love in here. Exhale, lots of love out. All right, my friends, bend the knees. Walk the hands back towards the toes. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, bend the knees, walk the hands all the way out to plank. Good. From here, tick tock the feet, right and left, right and left. When the going gets tough, where does your focus go? Where can you send it? To the breath, to activating muscles of the body for more stability, for support? Does your attention move towards unkind thoughts or can we guide our thoughts to be kinder? And then slow and steady, come back to center, lower to the belly. Inhale, cobra, open up through the chest. And exhale to release. Press to all fours or downward facing dog. So all fours or downward facing dog. And then if you're in downward dog, slowly lower to all fours. Great, walk the wrists underneath the shoulders. Here we go. Inhale, we're gonna lift the right knee all the way up. Draw a big circle out to hydrant and then bring it back in. Lift it all the way up. Take it to the right hydrant and then all the way back in. Now notice if you're starting to lean more towards the left side, press into your right palm. Press into both palms evenly so shoulders are nice and stable. Good, reverse the circle, you got this one way. And then the other, neck is nice and long. Spine, nice and long. And release, switch it to the other side. Lift the left knee up, take it to the left, hydrant around and down. Keep it going. Breathe. Focus straight down. Lots of energy here in the body. So the crown of the head is like reaching forward, the tail reaching back again, using the power of our visualization, imagination to move the practice, to inform the practice and our experience in the practice. Reverse the circle. Again, pressing or working to press into both palms evenly. Lovely, then we're gonna open the knees wide, bring the toes together, but curl the toes under, walk the hands back, 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 and we're gonna lift the knees here. Opening the knees here in a little froggy variation. Great, then walk the hands forward, make sure they're nice and wide, spread the fingertips, upper arm bones are gonna externally rotate out. Then we'll send the gaze out, Open up through the chest, lift the hips, and walk the knees, the toes, all the way up so that your knees are maybe coming in towards your armpit chest here. So we don't have to take off for flight today. We're just doing some rocking back and forth, moving towards a crow pose. You might lift one toe and then the other. And then after a little bit of play time here, gaze forward. We release, drop the heels, straighten the legs, standing forward fold. Take a breath in, take a breath out. On your next inhale, halfway lift and exhale fold. Bend the knees, walk it all the way to plank. Lower to the belly. You got this, inhale for cobra. Exhale to soften and fold. Good, press up to plank or all fours. And then everyone make your way to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way up. Nice low lunge. From here, we're gonna step the back foot up just halfway. Back foot up halfway. Good, inhale in, exhale. Lift the left foot up off the ground and then slowly lower it back down to the earth. Inhale, lift it up, standing split and lower. Last time, inhale, lift it up. This time, let it, let's see if it can stay up. We can use our blocks here, bringing the earth up to us or fingertips on the ground. We're gonna dial the left toes down, 
So your right inner thigh is working to rotate up towards the sky. Good, then from here, inhale, check it out, exhale. Bend your standing leg, your right knee, as you bend your left knee and hug it in to kiss behind the right calf. Good, inhale, kick it out, standing split. Exhale, bring it in, bend, bend, bend. Inhale, kick it out, you got this. Exhale, bend, bend, bend. Good, next time you kick it out, go ahead and step it all the way back to your lunge. Inhale, open the chest, the heart, look forward. Exhale, send it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step the left foot up into your lunge. Here we go, when you're ready, step the right foot halfway. And again, we're just gonna experiment lifting and lowering, woo. Pressing into all four corners of the left foot, lifting and lowering. Dialing the right toes down as you lift. Lower, and the next time you're lifted, stay lifted here, standing split. So again, hands can be on blocks, or you can challenge yourself by bringing your hands behind your left calf. And then here is a little Shiva squat. So bending that standing leg, bending the right knee, hugging it in, pressing into your left heel to kick it back out. Slow and in control. Good, and after your third one, kick the right foot out, step it all the way back to your lunge, open the chest, look forward, listen carefully, you're gonna rock that back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold at the top of the mat, feet together. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Draw the hands to the waistline, bend the knees generously, open up the chest, pause for breath here in chair. Look forward, send your weight into your heels. Good, and then rise up strong, super strong, focus forward. Like bring, like bring a little attitude, why not? Just a little attitude to this mountain. Hmm. Avoiding stepping on Benji's paws here, okay. All right, you can step back to the center of your mount if you like here, just give yourself a little space. <clears throat> Find a lift through the front body, a grounding through the back body, feet together, really together, lengthening through the head. Good, inhale in, exhale, bend your knees. You're gonna lift your right heel, then as if you were lifting like a, from a marionette string from your core, we're gonna lift, cross the right leg over the left. Maybe the right toes wrap around, maybe not, but everyone sink deeper than you think you can. So go a little deeper in your bend. Good, then fingertips go forward, then plug the shoulders into socket here, lift your chest. Right arm underneath the left here as we wrap, eagle arms, lifting the elbows up, breathe in. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, lift the elbows, exhale, bend, bend, bend. Find your drishti, your point of focus, this focal point in your balancing pose to bring stability. to help you build strength, integrity, resilience, willpower even. Inhale in, exhale to lift off and release mountain pose. Notice how you feel. Maybe close your eyes and just pay attention. Notice if there's any difference between your right leg and your left leg right arm and your left arm. Inhale and again, exhale, bend the knees, hands come to the waistline, sit down really low. Left leg lifts up from center, cross it over. We can use the left toes on the ground here for a little kickstand, or we can keep it lifted, or we can wrap. So we've been doing all of this core work, all of this core engagement, use it here, find it here. No need to just hang on with a wing and a prayer. We got this. We're moving from a place of connection and we're making that a new habit, a pattern. Send the fingertips forward. Plug the shoulders back into socket as you lift your heart. Left arm underneath the right this time as we wrap the arms. Take it nice and slow. 
finding an inhale as you lift the elbows and an exhale as you pull the hip creases back and drop your center, bending a little deeper. Inhale, lift the elbows. And exhale to sink. Think about lifting your hip points up towards your ears. What? Breathe. Inhale in. Exhale, sink a little. Good, inhale in again, lift and exhale, come to mountain, pause, observe the breath, observe your body. Close your eyes, bring your focus, your attention inward. Then without looking down, you know the ground is there, I even know a dog is there in my case. We're gonna walk to the top of the mat, just take a step or two up, whatever, whatever you need. And then with the chin lifted, gaze out, just out, you know, looking beyond the walls of your room or wherever you're practicing. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, send the fingertips back, lead with your heart, bend your knees generously as you dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to soften and fold. Step one foot back, then the other. Inhale in, exhale, lower to your knees, swing the legs to one side, and come through to a seat. Cross-legged seat. Sit up nice and tall here. Let your hands rest gently on your palms or the thighs. Lift the chest, relax your shoulders, drop the chin slightly, find a little reverent bow coming into Sukhasana. Coming into a seat, finding stillness here. So take any little movements that you might need here and then find your way to stillness. And just notice your energy, notice how you feel. And remember, there's no right or wrong here, simply our willingness to focus our attention with awareness. And that, my friends, is a discipline. And clearly a discipline that I'm willing to get behind as you see me here guiding this practice. It is such an honor to do so, by the way. Take a deep breath in. A long breath out. Remember for this next invitation, how you move matters. So I invite you to bring your hands together at your heart, but pay attention to how you do it, the meaning, the focus behind it. And inhale. One last time here together with me. And exhale to bow the head to the heart. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the neck. You can stay here for a moment or two in meditation, or if you have time, lie down for some Shavasana action. Otherwise, off you go. Have a beautiful rest of the day or evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Do not miss it. I'll see you there.